In the vast symphony of the cosmos, where celestial bodies perform each of their parts, gravity occupies a central place as the main conductor. It is a mysterious force that invisibly intertwines everything in the universe, including colossal clusters of galaxies. Plunging into the mysterious realm of gravity, we invite you today to join us on this heavenly journey that reveals the subtleties of the most mysterious hero of the universe. Gravity. Universal Fundamental Interaction Between Material Bodies. It is a fundamental force in nature that acts on every object in the universe, whether tiny or massive. To fully understand this concept, it is necessary to turn to the history of our understanding. The concept of gravity was pondered by the sages of different countries and eras. They were accurate and not very, true and fabulous. But over time, Sir Isaac Newton's law of universal gravitation and Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity have become the foundations of our knowledge of gravity today. Yes, Newton's law of universal gravitation states that every particle in the universe attracts all other particles with a force directly proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. Simply put, objects with a larger mass are attracted to each other with greater force than objects with a small mass, and this attraction weakens as the objects move away from each other. However, Einstein, in his general theory of relativity, suggested that gravity is not just a force acting between masses. Instead, it is a curvature of space-time caused by the presence of a mass of energy. From this point of view, objects such as planets and stars move and are influenced by the curvature of space-time, which leads to the fact that we perceive it as a gravitational force. So what is gravity? Power. But it depends where. For example, in Newton's mechanics, there is certainly a force. In classical theoretical mechanics, one can consider a certain gravitational field, that is, there every point in space has such a characteristic as the potential of the gravitational field. Through the potential, it is possible to calculate the force that will act on a body with a particular mass placed at this point. And you can also calculate the trajectory of a body in a gravitational field with a potential known to us. This means that tasks, for example, to launch an Earth satellite or calculate the period of the comet's revolution, are successfully solved with this approach. So you may well consider gravity a force in a number of cases. But there is no gravitational field in the general theory of relativity. In Einstein's theory, gravity is not a force. We have to use it where we need high accuracy of calculations, or where we have very large compact masses, for example, the fusion of neutron stars. In other words, gravity and the approximation of small velocities compared to the speed of light and weak gravitational interaction is described by Newton's theory of gravity or described by Einstein's general theory of relativity. But in the quantum limit, the gravitational interaction is supposedly described by the quantum theory of gravity. Well, now a new hypothesis has been put forward. That if the three fundamental forces have a corresponding quantum theory, then there must also be a particle behind gravity. In an attempt to combine gravity with quantum theory, there is a hypothetical particle called the graviton, the carrier of gravity, or in other words, the gravitational interaction. In fact, a quantum of the gravitational field without electric and other charges. The particle supposedly always moves at the speed of light. And although gravity is strong on a cosmic scale, it is quite weak on a small scale. So weak that when a magnet attracts a paper clip, the paper clip overcomes the gravitational force of the entire planet and moves in the direction of the magnet. This means that one graviton, if it exists, must be very weak. And to measure it, 
you need a detector the size of Jupiter. But still there is a theory that assumes the existence of a graviton. After a decade of silence due to mathematical inconsistencies, the same string theory was revised and refined. A promising contender for the creation of a quantum theory of gravity. The fact is that in string theory, mathematical calculations point to a universe with 10 dimensions. However, these spatial dimensions are too small to see. And as we know, gravitational waves carry information about their origin and about the nature of gravity. Moreover, today we can even listen to a signal about gravitational waves transformed into sound. For example, when two black holes with a large mass merged. It's worth listening to. Yes, I agree, it doesn't sound very intimidating for black holes. Gravitational waves are the result of the curvature of spacetime under the influence of massive objects. The existence of the graviton particle still remains insurmountable, since science has not yet provided experimental evidence of its existence. Despite this, gravity, whatever it is, it is. We see it and it affects us and the entire universe as a whole. Its importance is difficult to overestimate. Firstly, it is the formation of celestial bodies. Gravity is responsible for the very existence of celestial bodies, such as stars, planets, and galaxies. It compacts dust and gas, initiating nuclear reactions that ignite stars. Secondly, Gravity is responsible for the harmonious orbits that define our cosmic neighborhood. The gravitational pull of the Sun keeps our planet and other celestial bodies in the solar system and does it in their places. Thanks to this delicate balance, the Earth maintains an optimal distance from the Sun, receiving the necessary amount of energy to support life. Thirdly, the tides of the ocean on our planet arise mainly as a result of the gravitational dance between the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. And fourth, gravity holds galaxies and clusters of galaxies together, ensuring that celestial bodies do not fly into the depths of space. This cosmic glue supports the structure and integrity of the vast and impressive formations that define our universe. Studying and understanding the nature of gravity may in the future shed light on the mysterious dark matter, an invisible form of matter that does not interact with light or other electromagnetic radiation. However, its presence can be judged by its gravitational attraction to visible matter in space. Measurements of the rotation curves of galaxies and large-scale structures in the universe show that there must be much more matter than what we observe in the form of luminous stars and gas. It is believed that this excess mass consists of dark matter, which affects the movement and distribution of galaxies and galaxy clusters through gravitational forces. Thanks to technological progress in the study of gravitational waves, Humanity has new tools for studying the elusive characteristics of gravity. Ultimately, unraveling the mysterious force of gravity will help us better understand our place in space and shed light on reality as we know it. <laughs>